Hey there, what's going on everybody? I and mean, a warm welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, it's the video everybody has been waiting for, and that is the top five whiskeys of 2022 by the Whiskey Cove. Run that video. Alrighty then folks, hopefully you've been enjoying the festive times and periods, drinking good whiskey, spending some good time with family and friends and making some good memories there too. So as we round out this year of 2022, we take a look at the Whiskey Cove's top five whiskeys for this year. So when I say top five whiskeys for 2022, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bottle that came out in 22. It's just a bottle of whiskey that I was able to try for the first time in 2022. With that being said, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, folks, please consider being one. I've been really impressed by how many people are subscribing lately and really enjoying our content, so please keep that up. So at bottle number five, and let's just get straight into this. This is a bottle of whiskey that's been around a year or a couple of years here. And one ball that I, you know, I haven't been able to get for a little bit of a while until the beginning of the year. And then I was able to pick this bottle up. And that is going to be John J. Bowman Single Barrel. So this whiskey ball was so good, I drank it within like the first month or two, and I had to go and pick another one up myself. So this is coming in at 50% alcohol. It is a single barrel product. This made by John J. Bowman, they're out of Virginia. They get the distillate from Buffalo Trace and then they just redistill it and age it there in Virginia. But this is a fantastic product. It does have a lot of those uh, Buffalo Trace profile in terms of flavors and notes. It rounds out really well. I think it's had a really great proof. And I think for value for money, it's one of the better value for monies out there on the market. I paid about $50 for this, which is just insane value for money because this is just a great whiskey. If you can find it for $50, excellent you know go ahead and get that most of the time it's easier to find on the east coast when i was out on the east coast like new york and stuff i, I was seeing this a lot so if you're ever around that area you'll probably find this a lot easier the small batch comes to colorado and some of the other specialty varieties like the port finish one and then some of the other stuff seldomly comes however this does come every now and again if you're able to get it in your state definitely pick it up do not sleep on this and this is why this is the top in the top five this year and coming in at number five so that was the john j bowman single barrel so coming in at number four on this list and that is going to be a maker's mark store pick that i managed to pick up here so this is called a stavosaurus rex uh, i got this when i was in kentucky this is coming in at 54.8 percent alcohol and the stave profile for this are three baked American puree, two makers 46, and then five toasted French spice. So what can I say about this ball? It has some of those spicier notes. It has some wheater notes there as well. And it has this lovely, beautiful, creamy creme brulee note and a little bit of apple, which just all comes together to make this beautiful whiskey. I paid about 65, 75, uh, 65 to 70 dollars. I don't remember the exact amount, but I think just the Maker's Mark store picks in general have just been hitters for me this year. I have a bunch of uh, other ones that I picked up, and I've been impressed with every one. I haven't had a bad one to date. However, this one stole the show, which is, like I've already said, it was a phenomenal drinking whiskey. Stood up to some ice, you could put it into a cocktail, very versatile and rugged in that sense too. And for value for money, again, $65, $70, it's great value for money. And because it's a Maker's Mark product as well, you know, the, with their high standards, you're, you're going to get a good whiskey. So that was why this whiskey was number four on this list. This is kind of like their private selects. I don't think they do these labels anymore. I think this pick might have been a couple of years old after uh, when I bought it. However, like I said, the Maker's Mark picks in general are just really great bottles of whiskey. So that was why that was number four. So coming in at number three on this list, that is going to be Russell's Reserve 13. So this is batch two. I bought two of these. I was lucky to find two of these as a pair earlier on in the years. I've drunk the first one. I'm just kind of holding on to this one. And maybe I'll open this up soon coming into the new year here. I paid about, I think it was $85 for this, which is great value for money. $85 for a Russell's 13 year. Um, coming out of Wild Turkey. Barrel proof, non-chill filtered. ABV is 57.4%. And this just 
it doesn't have so much of like that turkey funk that some people associate with Russell's and wild turkey products. I get this beautiful kind of like a cherry bakewell, which is kind of like a, like a cherry cake with like white icing over the top of it there. You get plenty of barrel char that comes through as well. This is a bit of a sweeter whiskey, but you do get some of that turkey spice that you kind of associate with some Russell's products there. And again, if for $85, great value for money. I know they started bringing these out last year, but the, 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 this is the second edition one. You know, you can see on the laser code at the bottom. Uh, so this is the second edition one that did come out this year. I've drunk one already, holding this one back, and I need to just crack this guy open and just enjoy it because it is just a great whiskey. Could have got number one very easily, but I just felt like there was just two other whiskeys that just beat it out this year. So that was Russell's Reserve 13 at number three. So then we have number two on this list and just narrowly missing out on top spot that is going to be the cheapest bottle on this list and that is none other than jack daniels bonded yes a 35 dollar or even in some states 30 dollar whiskey coming in at 50 percent alcohol or 100 proof and it is bonded. So why I love this so much is it kind of has all the same similar notes as the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. So you have that really thick, sweet maple caramel notes in there as well. And you also have a lot of barrel char that comes over, but it just doesn't drink as hot as maybe the Barrel Proof does. I know a lot of people do prefer Barrel Proof products and that's completely fine. And, and someone who's tried the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, who likes Barrel Proof products, knows just how good that whiskey is. And I'm pointing up here because I have one on the shelf. However, this is kind of like a miniature version of that, but it has all, all those same notes. It just doesn't drink that hot. And I was just so impressed with it because it's such a cheap bottle and such an enjoyable whiskey. I did a side-by-side uh, -side between this and the Triple Mash one, and this was just head and shoulders above that. And I've just been sipping it every so often, and it just makes for a great whiskey. It just takes all the boxes. It's affordable, it's great tasting, and it sits on shelves. So do not sleep on this Jack Daniels Bonded, folks, if you haven't got it. Missed out on number one, could easily have been number one, but however, just missed out a little bit. So then that just leaves us with the last bottle. This is the Whiskey Co's Whiskey of the Year for 2022. And that is none other than Sagamo Spirits Double Oak Rye. So, double, uh, so Sagamo Spirits have sourced their uh, juice from MGP and then they do their own funky stuff with it and they kind of charred a new barrel and just a double oak product. So with this one, it just drinks, it just drinks like pure like pure maple syrup it's so sweet so kind of it's definitely a dessert whiskey and being a rye product you think oh you know it might have a lot of like that rye spice and licorice notes it doesn't it drinks more like a bourbon and it's just beautiful for that as well very affordable coming in i bought this from costco for like 49 dollars, which is just insane value for money so the abv on this is 48.3 percent so really in line with a lot of double oaked or double barreled whiskies and like i said this is kind of like a dessert whiskey it just drinks straight away like syrup you can find it in most states sitting on shelves you know a lot of people are not buying these sagamo spirits products I think the whole Sagamo range is actually really good value for money. I know that I haven't tried their bonded uh, Sagamo rye, which is their own distillate so far, but so I can't really give you a fair review on that. But this double oaked whiskey is just phenomenal. And if you have the chance to buy it, my recommendation for you guys for the new year and girls is to definitely pick this one up. So that was the list. So let's just do a quick recap. We have Sagamo Spirits Double Oaked Rye for first place. We have the Jack Daniels Bonded for second place. We have the Russell's Reserve 13 for third place. We have the Maker's Mark Single Barrel Pick for fourth place. And then last, coming in at number five, is the John J. Bowman Single Barrel. So, to be fair, the only super allocated whiskey on this list is probably the Russell's Reserve 13. But the rest of them are pretty findable bottles of whiskey. Of course, this is a very individual store pick, but in general, store picks for Maker's Mark are easy to find. So hopefully you can use that information and go out there and maybe try some of these whiskeys and then come back to the channel and give us some feedback on that as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as we drink through the world's whiskeys, one glass at a time. Cheers.